Morning folks, it's an exciting day. We're gonna finish this corn pit. Two of the three loads that we're cracking are already harvested and there's a beautiful piece of machinery showing up. Let's get these tractors fired up, warming up and get cracking and packing. So that's seven loads of corn cracked and packed. It's looking like something getting pretty full almost to the tops of the sides. It ain't perfect. We got a little sculpting left to do. This here is the start of load eight. Especially on load nine, once we get to that, we'll really try to lay that corn in the middle, get a crown going either side to help with drainage when it rains. Pretty full, but we're gonna shove another load in there and get her turped.
We're finishing up with a bit of a light load just because the corn bunker is pretty full. That last one is pretty hard to push up the hill. That wet corn don't like the flow. Got the grain cart all cleaned out in just about an hour. It's big brother's gonna be showing up. load I'm thinking this first half of the semi I'm gonna try to lay right down the center then the second half of the semi I can actually put a lot of corn in this first bunker this first bunker wall there's a lot of space right in there I just got a call from Todd at Springside Sales. He says he's about 13 minutes out. So we're gonna finish this up and meet him at the field. Well, there it is. Just short of 9,000 bushels wet. It's got a bit of a crown. It could have sloped this way a little better. There's a bit of a peak in the middle. We'll get a tarp here shortly. Dad's hauling some stuff to the North Farm. We're gonna start that pit probably on Monday. There's some chances of rain, so we'll see what happens. Big tires on it. Quite something. Todd is out helping us hook it up. Springside sales. They worked really hard putting this together the last couple days, get it out as soon as possible delivering it on a Saturday. You don't find that everywhere. Right now he's in the cab wiring the scale for us. Same place dad just traded his tractor a couple weeks ago. We've done a lot of business with them in the past and always like working with the folks in Westington Springs. I think they're both, yeah. Oh wow. So there's two different functions on the spout. You got this way and this way. Thanks to Todd and the folks at Springside for getting this out to us so fast. And of course the folks from Unverfirth, they uh, worked hard to find something that would be available. So we're really excited about that grain cart. It's got a couple of features, bigger auger. The biggest thing is that we can fill a semi in one trip because it holds 1,100 bushel. But we'll uh, play with that more once we do more harvest. Right now we're gonna tarp the pit and we'll call it a day on this fine Saturday. All right, 
right, let's do it. There you have it, we got one corn pit done. Extra bales, cause you know, we get that big South Dakota wind. With the heat we've been having and wind, the beans are turning fast. It's very surprising and we got a lot we wanna get done before bean harvest starts. We got a lot of manure to haul. We gotta crack and pack the pit at the North Farm and we got a little bit of alfalfa we gotta cut and bale. But we appreciate you watching today. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Well, Tiffany, folks have been missing you for a while, and hey, and you should tell them that you ate a watermelon <laughs> seed. Yep. I just want to say I'm excited to live stream the birth. <laughs> You're not live streaming the birth. I'm not. No. Mm.